right. There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. He's saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. For one? Sometimes there are only bad choices, but even indecision has consequences. Come on, it's a simple answer. Yes or no? <laughs> Fine, be like that. Freak. Right back at you.
get back here. Aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. No, I'm all right, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Get in the car, sunshine. Money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. Who's the baggage? His fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. <sighs> Not good at maths, are you, mate? What's that supposed to mean? Minus one, plus one. That makes zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. See your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Well, don't push your luck. This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. 
Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Or this one. You're joking. We'll find you something. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What in your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its Hidden compartment, which is 150 grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep it powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three oh, simply beautiful pieces. remaining examples okay, great. of the red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would, please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, we can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five we get 20% on the sale Thank price, you, don't on we? The phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these choice are? Do I now hear 
Seven. Seven I have to the lady. Thank Please you, stop ma'am. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a heart thank attack. you, madam. Do you have a eleven, it's this? your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so because you know price. We have eleven five. Logarithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid. Your bid at eleven, madam. Well, it's eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. Eleven five once. Eleven Trust five me twice. On this. So to the gentleman on my right for eleven and a half million pounds. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Eighteen and a half percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem, darling. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. OK, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? OK, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You did well, stopping me like that. Don't know what I've gotten into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. OK, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Where did you come from? Oh, what's wrong with this? It's not your monitor, mate. There are thieves inside the building right now, and they've hacked into your security system. You stay there. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing?
Yeah, fine. Just need to wipe the sandwich off my hands. the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it. Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. 085209, okay? That's it. Now both hit enter. Three, two, one, now. Fuck! Simon, it's fucked. Get in the lift and I'll call it down. Mei Ling, we need to come out the front, bring the car to the front of the building. I could trust you. What the hell went wrong? I'll tell you what went wrong. You went wrong. The whole lot of you, right from the start. You, you couldn't even do the first thing you set out to do, which is steal a car. You couldn't even do that right. How the fuck did you think you were going to rob an auction house? <laughs> Bunch of fucking amateurs, the lot of you. If I were you, I'd shut up. the others. In. Jeff, where are the others? Ask him. Let's get out of here. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bomb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here, just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. 
Okay, there's petrol, look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Come on. We need to get away from here. Take this bolt to Woos to finish what you started. It's Mr. Woos. Yeah, but that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling! Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? I want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, is Mr. Wu here? Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You? Right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. You didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. Could they while you're gun you yet to my gong? A tam. Go on. Through. 
What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Atam, turn by your way. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Joy family, Possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Cordate, ho hoi! Goodbye. We will not meet again. <sighs> Fucking great. I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Rue just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go. One of the room, please. Name? 
Sme? Did you believe Wu? They knew nothing about the job. They looked convincing, didn't they? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. Thank you. Not adding much to this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for twenty percent job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. It's getting us nowhere. Easy point. It's believed despite the extent of the robbery which resulted in the hospitalization of three employees, only one item was stolen from the auction house. A Chinese May, it's symbol, us. which had just been auctioned for the reported value of ten million pounds. The criminals left the location in two high performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. Though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later, beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle, its... Do you think the Troys will believe the bowl's history? He'll choice the worst. I am deeply, deeply devastated by this event. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh, yeah. How oh, very compassionate of him. Reports, what this bastards. robbery may also be linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at... Fucking hell. <sighs> Wu was right about the choice. That's for fucking sure. This doesn't make any sense. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. We got him killed. And we're next. We need to get out of the city. Hello? Mr. Smith? Yeah? I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? There's someone downstairs. Trust me, please. Come on. Matt, slow down. I cannot believe you just did that. After everything we've been through tonight, you destroy the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why.
because it was a fake. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please. You have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Why would I help someone who's been lying to me the whole night? No, if you force the bowl, then you're the one they're after, not me. No. No fucking way. Now, I have enough surprises for one night. You're on your own. I understand. If it was me, I'd feel the same way. We have to believe that I'm telling you the truth. That ball can save our lives, but we can only pull this off together. Please, just tell me what I have to do to get you to agree. Nothing. There is nothing you can say to get me to trust you. Not now. You can't do this on your own, Matt. Think your percentages can help you? It's people that count, not numbers. Wrong. No, numbers you can rely on. Matt, it must be Pa who's behind this. I just don't care anymore. He fucked us all, Matt. Help me get even with him. We can put this right for both of us. Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy was selling the bowl? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that now, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where's the original now? I don't know. Come on, May. What do you take me for? I only realised at the hotel we stole the copy. I didn't know the two jobs were connected. People died. People died because you didn't know the two jobs were connected. That's not fair. Look, stop whining and start fucking thinking. Where is the bloody rice bowl? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want to make the wrong decision. I don't want anyone else to die. But we have to get the ball back to the choice of this or just go on. Yeah, but crying isn't going to help now, is it? <laughs> Look. Are you ready after doing this? Yeah. Let's find a solution out of this mess, then, shall we? Together. Come on. Get up. Okay. Let's start with what we know. I can see that Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if he could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At the Hainsworth, they would have found out. <laughs> Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? You mean... I don't know. You tell me. Oh, my God. 
If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's going to regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating him up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. Shit. Brilliant. They won't touch us. They won't touch you, you mean? We don't really have much choice. Yeah, well, my father's told me one thing. It's in a situation like this, you're best off smacking the biggest guy right in the face before he does. Come on. You didn't believe that. Hey, you. So we're busted up this way, mate. How the fuck should I know, smoke boy? Come on, let him be. Honestly, mate, I've got a bus to catch, all right? You got a bus to catch, have you? Let him go! <laughs> oh, more like a limousine if you ask me, smoke boy. The police. It's okay. Only oh, yeah, have been a fucking play, aren't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, mate. I'm sorry, you were probably right. Shit. The auction guy Jeffrey Lee strangled. He had access to the bowl right after the expert on stage had it. And before we stole it. It could be him. That's him. What's his number? Hang on. They're threatening. Hi, I'm I'm so sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's Hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. It's Jeff getting his kicks. see you. Weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't start. I'm sorry, but we are in a bit of a hurry, darling. Could you tell us which room Sebastian Leclerc is in, please? Is he here? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room number. What, like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good night. You're a popular man in this town. Look, this isn't about some entry ticket to some party, yeah? This is way bigger. What's so important that you need to see him now? That's complicated. But ever since we met this evening, my night has just got worse and worse. Well, ditto. Look, I know you think I fucked you over, but chasing you out of that garage might have just saved your life. Is that the best you can do? Look, we are in real trouble right now, okay? We need to speak to Leclerc. It's quite possible he could save our lives. Just, just five minutes, please, it's all we need. 
How do you know him? We're friends. We've all known each other for years since uni. He's lost all of us money at one point or another. He can be a bit of a dick. <sighs> Seventh floor, room 703, but if you get caught, I've never seen or heard of you. Thanks. I heard that. You were supposed to. So, um, who's the girl? Oh, I know from work. And she works here? No, my work. Boyfriend parks his car there. I see. That jealousy I'm detecting. <laughs> you wish. They won't let me use the internet. Oh, my God. I know. You must be, like, 80, right? No, no, no. I think I just worked out how Pa got the bowl out of the auction house. What? Come on. Shouldn't be here. Nurse! Nurse! Listen to me. I'm a peaceful woman. I don't want to hurt you. But if you try that again, believe me, the bits of you that hurt already are going to get much worse. Do you understand me? Do you have an agreement? Uh, yes. Good. Now tell us about your deal with Samuel Paul. You know you replaced the four sim rice bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. They have already seen the footage. Of the robbery, maybe. But what about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Of where? The elevator. There is no footage from there. Ah, but that's where you switched it, though, isn't it? And the camera must have seen you, even if you had your back to it. And if people know the truth, be clear to see what you were doing, mate. But what do you want? What do you want from me? Where is the original? Does Paul have it? If I tell you, you have to promise me not to tell anyone about me. You're kidding. You're in this as deep as we are, mate. If you don't promise, I will tell you nothing. We'll see. Wait, wait. Okay. Just you and me now, mate. Now, where is the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped the original with the forgery, and I hid it. Hid it where? The cabinet. Pa's cabinet he bought in auction. There was a hidden compartment in it. There was a hidden compartment, right? Yes. Is that where it is? It's the ball still inside? I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes. I have to go back to Ainsworth. How the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does.
Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we oui, yeah. You're never here, right? Yes. You never heard about the hidden compartment. Go on soon. Yeah, yeah. Good night. What the fuck happened? We had her. You find a ball. Bring it to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring it to the lobby of our hotel by 9 tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. I'll be with you in a moment. No rush. <clears throat> Long flight. How can I help you? I'm here to pick up an item. What lot was it? Uh, it was an item bought last night by Mr. Samuel Parr. No. No, it's not on my list. Do you have your documentation? I was told my copy would be waiting at this desk. I can't do anything without the lot numbers. Would you like to speak to someone upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be best. OK, if you take the elevator to the second floor, Mr Quinn is in room 13. I'm sure he'll be able to sort this out for you. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, sir.
the hell do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he thank has you. Well, I, I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intrude at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. Original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. And I know about your deal with Sebastian de Clark. Yeah, smuggling the original out of the auction house, hidden inside the wooden chest you bought. This is quite the little work of fiction, isn't it? What do you hope to gain by this? This conversation is over. 
Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. I am serious. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. Then when's it being delivered? When? Why would I tell you? OK. OK. Then we'll wait here, together with the choice. No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep my involvement from the choice. You could take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. A million pounds? What? And you get scot free, do you? Scot free. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But if I don't get the rest of the money, the choice will find out. Whatever it takes. I'll call Hainsworth and tell him that the chest is being picked up. Well, good morning, it's um, Samuel Parr. Uh, I'm going to pick up the thing myself. No, 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 that's fine. Thank you. Car keys.
We've not been disappointed by your cooperation. Where's Mylene? She's here. Are we free to go? One question. Malin claims she was ordered to steal a copy of the ball by Samuel Paul, who in turn intended to retain in secret the original ball for himself. To your knowledge, is this true? No, that's a lie. Everyone involved with the plan was killed in the accident. She never mentioned anything about Samuel Parr being involved. And what was your involvement? I was forced to at gunpoint. That's why I've gone out of my way to make sure you've got the ball back in one piece. Give me a leaf now.
тебя бум-бум-бум, ты меня бум-бум-бум, мы вместе бум-бум-бум, с тобою бум-бум-бум, ты килобум.